Hello everyone. In this lecture series, I'll be dealing here with linear algebra with the perspective of your competitive exams. Most of the time, whenever we are going for the competitive examination, uh, the basic definitions and basic fundamentals be very much required. And in that perspective, I'll be dealing here with each and every definition minutely. And I'll be giving you the insight how to identify the correct option of this competitive examinations. Now, first of all, uh, I'll be dealing here with the matrices, which is uh, as the first uh, basic concepts of introduction and the types of matrices. Okay, by the end of this session, uh, you'll be able to define the matrix and identify the different types of matrices. Now, uh, what exactly the matrix is? It's a set of M into N number, might be a real or imaginary, arranged in the form of rectangular array of M rows. Now, this is important here, M rows. And throughout this series, I'll be dealing here with M for rows, N for columns. So this is N columns. It's known as M cross N matrix. Now, this M cross N matrix, might it's usually written as this. If you'll observe here, now, why I have told you M is rows and for columns. Now, when a, what exactly the rows is nothing but the, this horizontal lines. This horizontal arrangement is known as a rows. Vertical arrangement is known as a column. So, these are the columns over here. So, how many rows and how many columns we have here? We have here M. If you will observe here, M number of rows. So, 1, 2, so on up to m number of rows and we have n number of columns so columns we will be always having it as a second element so second elements now that means if i'm talking about a11 this a11 element or is known as the element of a matrix it's placed in the first row and the first column similarly if you'll observe this a23 this element is placed in the second row and the third column third column. Similarly, if, if I'm talking about this A1N, it is placed in first row and the nth column. And this element AMN is mth row, nth column. Most, some, most of the time, this mathematically, it will, it can be written as A is equals to AIJ M cross N. What is the meaning of this? The meaning is this capital A is the matrix. Most of the time, capital A, uh, we are using we are uh, using the notation for the matrices as capital letters and the small letters for the elements of those matrices. So if you observe here, this is capital A, which is a matrix, is equals to the element Aij m cross n. What is what is this notation tells us? This notation tells us this i is the suffix for number of rows, and this i will move from one to m. One. To m so the range of this i is from 1 to m and this j this another suffix j is for columns and the range for this j is from 1 to n 1 to n and therefore this this matrix notation tells me that capital a is a matrix with the element small a i j having the number of rows as m and number of columns as small n most of the time or sometimes it is also known as A equals to AIJ without most of the time they might not give you the order here. They might be giving you the order in a sentence. And this, as I have already discussed with you, this AIJ belongs to I through and J column. Now, if you'll observe in this uh, lecture series, I'll be putting each and every note on or the definition in the PPTs and in the video ultimately so that you will you can write down your own notes from this videos. Okay, types of matrices, let us go for the first, that is row matrix. Now, if I'm commenting only on row, the definition says that a matrix having only one row. That means I'm not making any comment on the columns. Column might be anything. So the number of columns might be any number. So row matrix is M equals to one. That means I'm just putting a restriction on the number of row, no restriction on any column number of columns. So if you'll observe the, the example over here, in this example, we have only one row. How many columns we have? We have one, two, 
and this 3. So in this particular example, we have got the order of this matrix. So what will be the order of matrix? 1 row into how many columns? 3. So the order of this matrix is 1 cross 3. Similarly, if I will go for column matrix, as you must have understood that row matrix and the column matrix, column means only one column, no restriction on the number of rows. And this, therefore, this is what is the restriction I'm putting on the columns, not on the rows. What will be the example? Example, if you'll observe here, there is only one column, but how many rows I have? One, two, and three rows. So what would be the order? Order is first row, number of row is three, cross, number of columns is one. So what is the order of this capital A as three cross one? Now let us see if I have got this matrix capital A as one, two, three, four. Now whenever we are talking or whenever we are reading the matrix, we are always reading the matrix row wise, like first row, second row, third row and so on. That is why if you observe, I have I have read the matrix as one, two, three, four. What? How many number of rows here? One and two. What are the number of columns? One and two. So the order of matrix is two rows, two columns. Order of matrix is two cross two. Any guesses which type which type of matrix is this? Obviously, this is a square matrix. And in this, that means what? What is the definition? Number of rows is equal to the number of columns. Say n. Uh, whenever we are talking about a square matrix, it is not required to have n cross n. It is sufficient to just say the square matrix with n number of rows or columns doesn't matter over here. So this is known as of order small n. If you observe here, of order small n. No need to prescribe the number of rows or columns. Okay, what is the next is? Next is the scalar matrix. This is again, most of the times the questions might be coming from this matrices because they are, they are a little tricky. So it's first of all, first thing we have to note it as it's a square matrix. And what are the conditions on the, this scalar matrix? First of all, Aij is equals to zero for all I not equals to J. What do you mean by this? I not equals to J means the number of row, the the index of the i and index of j, they are not equal. They are not equal. That means what? They are non-diagonal elements. So now that I think I did not, I'll just tell you about this. This a i j is equals to zero for all i not equals to j. And this a i i is equals to some c. C might be any number, but it should not be a zero. Then that for all i where c is not equals to zero. So for example, is this this capital A 500 0, 0, 0, 050 0, 0, 0, 5. Now, what is my first condition? My first condition says that Aij is 0 for all i not equals to j. Now, this if you'll observe this elements, this 5, 5, 5, this is known as a diagonal of a matrix. This is as a diagonal of a matrix. And if you'll observe in the first slide, I have given you that generalized matrix. That time I have said that this is. A i a one one a two two a three three means what the number of rows or a number of columns are equal at this element. It's known as a main diagonal, or sometimes it's known as the uh, diagonal elements or uh, the leading diagonal. Also, this is also known as leading diagonal. Okay, so first condition says that all non-diagonal elements are zero. So that means this is zero. This is zero. This is zero. Zero zero zero. Non-diagonal elements are 0. And what about the diagonal elements? They are equals to C. So 3 of them, 5, 5, 5, 3 of them have to be equal. What is my next? This purpose they have taken two such a matrices where there is a there are there might be a question where a little tricky question. And that is why I just wanted to uh, show you those matrices on one page. So this is a diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix, again, it's a square matrix. And it's a diagonal matrix if all the elements except those in leading diagonal are 0. That is Aij is equals to 0 for all i not equals to j. What will be the example? Now, what is the difference between these two elements, between these two matrices? If you observe in the scalar matrix, we have got 5, 5, 5. That means I have here first condition remains the same for both of them, the scalar matrix and the diagonal matrix. My first condition remains the same. But 
in the diagonal matrix there is no restriction on uh, otherwise you can say there is uh, no second condition exist right now in this scalar matrix we have have the restriction on the diagonal elements so if you observe here uh, in the scalar matrix we have we will have the restriction here we will have the restriction on the diagonal elements that means they have to be equal but in the diagonal matrix there is no restriction on the diagonal elements so they can can be zero they cannot be zero they might be equal they might not be equal so if you we'll observe here in this matrix in this example i have taken 1 5 and 10 so that means in the main difference between the diagonal and the scalar matrix is in the scalar matrix there are two conditions there is a restriction on the non diagonal elements as well as on the diagonal elements whereas in the diagonal matrix there is a restriction on non diagonal elements but there are no uh, uh, the restriction on the leading diagonal or a main diagonal elements the next is a lower triangular matrix uh, what it is it first of all it's a square matrix and it's called a lower triangular if aij is equals to 0 for i less than j now this is what is very important condition we have to note it down that means whenever my number of the number of the the row is less than the number of column at that time at that position i should have my zero you will get it uh, with the example fast here so if you we'll observe here i if it is less than j then only i have to put my aij is equals to zero now let us come here for this this element this zero over here this zero element is placed in the first row and the second column that means this the position of this zero is nothing but first row second column so that means my the value of i over here at this position is 1 and the value of j is 2 that means in this position 1 is less than 2 and therefore this place should be filled with 0 similarly if you we'll observe here this element is the the this zero is placed in the first row third column therefore it is 1 less than 3 similarly if you we'll observe this is nothing but this these elements are forming over here are nothing but these are the elements where we have to feel these elements as zero the element of that matrix have to be zero so in short the lower triangular matrix is nothing but it's a matrix having the elements this is my leading diagonal the elements above the leading diagonal elements have to be zero So this is my lower triangular. Upper triangular matrix is nothing but a square matrix. It's called upper. If it, this A I J is equals to zero for I greater than J, what will be it? It, it will be exactly this different one. If you we'll observe here this element, now if you we'll observe this element, the position of this element zero is what? It's in the fourth column and the third row. So this is what this element is A. fourth column sorry fourth row third column that is 4 3 so here i am getting my i that is 4 which is greater than j which is 3 and therefore i have to have my elements zero over here something like this that means if you we'll observe my leading diagonal element is this is this is my leading diagonal and i need i need to have my upper triangular matrix such a way that i should have my the elements below this leading diagonal elements have to be equals to zero similarly next matrix is a null matrix so null matrix null means zero so all the elements are zeros over here there is actually if you we'll observe this example i have given as 0 0 0 0 which is the matrix of or of order 2 cross 2 but there is no restriction on the null matrix because in the definition there is no restriction whether this has to be a square matrix there has to be a row mat row uh, matrix or a column matrix or a rectangular matrix doesn't matter doesn't matter at all and therefore this null matrix only the restriction is null matrix will have all the elements equals to zero identity matrix or a unit matrix is a square matrix first of all it has to be a square it cannot be a rectangular or a row or a column matrix what is my condition there are two condition for the unit matrix or identity first is aij is equals to 0 for all i not equals to j that means all non diagonal elements have to be 
and the diagonal elements are equals to 1 that is my second condition obviously my this is what is my this is the 2 cross 2 matrix 2 cross 2 shows that this is a square matrix and if you'll observe this a i j is equals to 0 and this a i j is equals to 1 for all i actually this is also one of the way to express it sometimes it is known as a i j or sometimes it is nothing but it is a i i also of you can just write down here i is equals to j doesn't matter so this is nothing but not, my diagonal elements have to be equals to one and non-diagonal elements have to be zero but identity matrix it has to be a square matrix it cannot be other than the square matrix i hope you all have understood the basic definitions of the types of matrices because based on this met this elements only or this matrices only we'll be dealing with the further lectures happy learning